the store. The cost to feed your family is a lot more these days. As inflation is through the roof. Yeah, but one local farm is trying to make sure you feel it as little as possible thanks to one simple solution. ABC 13's Will Stafford explains. Emma. Ben Parziali and his family have lived on this farm for decades. This is their livelihood. We moved here 30 years ago, and, uh, you know, this is what I've known growing up. Come on, girls. Come on. But inflation is hurting the family business. New London Farms raises Black Angus cattle, and while the cost of cattle hasn't necessarily increased, they have taken a hit another way. The main cost of what any farm or most farms are going to experience is uh, fuel, right? That's a big one, so to, to run equipment, vehicles, and things like that. Um, and then the other one's fertilizer. Not wanting to face increasing costs for himself or forced to pass that cost along to customers at their farm-to-table store, Piers Alley has found a simple yet incredibly efficient solution to his problem. It reduces the labor because one person can come out and do this. Um, it saves hay, and it also saves us on a lot of our fuel costs. The hay ring is so simple to use and lightweight that even I could do it. These hay rings, Bears the Alley says, has saved him costs on a number of items. You know, when you have a problem, you look for a solution, and um, we hope that we found a pretty good solution. Using this method, they say that instead of being on the tractor once every three or four days, they're only out here about once a month. And all this hay that you see behind me will actually last this group of cows about a good four days. At that point, they'll just move over to the next section of land. And the spreading the cattle out strategy also solves his issue on fertilizer, too. He's doing it because it's about 100 bucks more an acre this year. A cow is going to drop out of their back end about 50 pounds of urine and manure on a single day. And if you use those nutrients appropriately, you're actually going to put fertilizer back into your soil. Pierce Alley also says this way allows him to grow more hay come springtime as well. When you cut hay, you remove about 80% of the nutrients from the soil or from the ground. Well, if you don't replace those nutrients, you're not going to get as much hay the next year. In Bedford County, Will Stafford, ABC 13 News.